Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while. Uh, life, you know, <laughs> everything's so busy. But anyway, I wanted to get a video up on here. So what you're looking at is a painting I made on my acrylic pour channel. If you want to see how I did this first part, I'm going to put the link in the description. While you're over there, make sure you hit subscribe. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a lot of these two parters where I do the acrylic pour on that channel and then the, the second resin part on this channel. Um, not all the time, but there will be those occasions. So if you don't want to miss out, make sure you're subscribed to both channels. But what I did here is not acrylic pouring. It's actually alcohol ink art. So on in that that video in the description, I'm going to show you how I did that first part with the alcohol inks by blowing them around. And then I put a coat of resin down. So now it's all cured. And what I want to do is add a little fun. So I'm going to come in with some resin, some resin tints and resin paste from artisttilldeath.com. That's where you can buy them. But they are technically the Just Resin line, uh, La Res line, and possibly the Color Obsession line. And I will show you those all in a second. I'm also going to add some glitter, and it's going to be pretty self-explanatory of what I'm doing. But what I'm going to do is I don't want to cover up this beauty, but I want to add to it. So in order to do something like that, you need to use resin tints or pastes or alcohol inks that are transparent in nature so you can still see this gorgeousness down here, right? So that's what I'm going to be doing today, just zhuzhing it up a little bit. So this is a 12 by 16 Da Vinci Pro panel. What that is, is it's a, they come, I'll show you one actually. So that's what the label looks like. So they are beautiful gesso, two inch wood sides, although you can buy them anywhere from, I believe, seven eighths of an inch wide side all the way up to three inch wide side. Um, this is from Jerry's Artorama. I buy them in six packs. If you want to go through Blick, which is in the description below, they sell a brand that's called Ampersand. And uh, those are really good, too. I'll put that information in the description. So what I did originally in the first video was I taped up the sides. Nothing on the background. Just put some alcohol on the surface of this one side. Dripped some alcohol inks into the wet alcohol and blew them around. Let it dry, very simple. Then came back in with KS Resin Liquid Art Ultra UV and poured a clear coat. That's where we are picking up from. So the way that you're going to achieve this is by using a lot of clear and a very minimal amount of color that is transparent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill each of these cups here about maybe a quarter of the way, if that. You don't need much, especially when you're working on just half of a canvas as far as, you know, how much color you need. So it's not going to be much at all. Now I'm going to use three colors and I'm going to use one glitter. The glitter is going to go into the entire surface, but it's going to be absolutely minimal. I mean, I don't know if you can even see it in here. What I did was I poured some glitter in the cup and dumped it out and whatever was left behind is how much I'm putting in. I just want a little tiny, tiny speckle, okay? Just a speckle of that glitter throughout this piece. So. I'm going to save that actually for after. First, what we're going to do is put our color in. So first, what I'm going to do is a beautiful turquoise. Now this color, 
The label is not on it. I want to say it may be a color obsession tint, but I'm not sure. I'm going to put the link or the name, I should say, of the color in the description and the link of where you can buy all of these. You can see here just two drops and it's a beautiful turquoise. All right, it's gonna match wonderfully with this painting. I'm sorry if you hear uh, cars going by in the background. It's raining out, it's like an oven in here and it's like, you know, not hot enough to put the air conditioner on though because it's cooler outside. Just one of those weird days. So that's the noise you're hearing. So that's the first color. The next color I can tell you without a doubt is by Just Resin, Dark Turquoise, all right? And these pastes you do not need a lot of. I'm gonna show you here. That's not even a quarter of a cup. So I just kind of dipped my little spoon in there. And we're gonna start with that and see what it looks like. Resin paste in particular makes some really cool effects when you're doing resin art with them. Something with the, the solvents that they're made with, they just really create cool effects and lacing and all that compared to a mica, which is really pretty. But what's even prettier is to combine something like this and a mica or an actual dry resin pigment together, like the resin art line from Color Art, because it has all that sparkle in it. For this piece, my star of the show is going to be this little bit of uh, chameleon pigment I had put in this area here. That first video, like I said, you will see it. And actually, you know what? Let me show you really quick with the flash on. So you see that? Those are from Artists Till Death also. They are called chameleon, chameleon pigments. The actual line is called Too Faced, and they are gorgeous, okay? So those are going to be the star of the show and that little bit of glitter that I have in my surface. So if you're doing something like an ocean or you want something to have some white lacing in it, you're gonna need a good white paste to do that. Artist Till Death sells a couple of different brands. My favorite happens to be Lorez Angel White. I get the best effects with that brand. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of that and put it in there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that little cup of glitter that I have and I'm going to add it to my big cup of clear. So here's my big cup of clear. I'm gonna take whatever was left over in that cup and dump it in there because again, I don't want a ton of sparkle. I don't wanna overpower it. That will be plenty to where it just looks like there's some diamonds floating through the resin. So let me show you this now. See that, how nicely that works? Just a little tiny bit, goes a long way. Again, all of these supplies I use, except for the KS resin, can be purchased through artiststilldeath.com. They also sell some resins and I do have a discount, so you can check them out. They have Just Resin resin, they have Stone Coat, all those other brands. So here we go. I'm gonna just dump this on the entire surface, just like this. And I'm gonna keep a little bit of my clear should I need it? 
for when I'm blowing my colors around. I like to add a little clear here and there, you know what I mean? So this sparkle will, will really make this white side look really special. I'm just gonna bring it up to the edges. I'm not gonna go over the edge yet. I'm gonna wait until I coat my entire surface to make sure that's all coated. You don't wanna have it all go over the edge and then find out you don't have enough to spread up and cover the entire surface. That would be bad. You'd have to rush and mix up some more resin. So that's why I push it all over the surface first, then push it over the edge. Sorry, I'm moving here on you. I have my canvas up on cups. So then you'll push it over the edge and do your sides. All right, so just like that. Just like that. All right. And you can also just design your piece now, blow it around and whatever blows over the edges, use that to coat your, your sides, which is what I'm going to do. So now it's time for me to heat it up a little bit. I'm gonna pop these air bubbles. I'm gonna use my heat gun for this. Or, you know what, actually we'll use the torch because I don't want it to move strike this one so now I'm gonna go and just torch it really quick to get rid of some of these bubbles although we will be using the heat gun that will pop bubbles also um, I just like to get rid of some of them I like playing with the torch what can I say I don't know if you saw that little puff of smoke I got a little too close there and stayed in one area too long. You just want to go back and forth really quick. All right, just like that. Voila. So here's how we're gonna do this, all right? I wanna try to keep the colors over here. So I'm going to take and put down just some random puddles of color. Resin is much more forgiving than acrylic pouring, so when it comes to how you put your colors down, you don't have to really worry about whether a color is transparent or opaque. They just, you blow it around and it looks beautiful no matter which way you put them down. I'm going to take my clear that I have left, and I'm going to kind of just... Weave it around that white, all around the white. That will also help create some lacing and some depth. So now with the heat gun, I'm going to blow backward, a little forward, a little backward, and move to the next spot. To create cells in resin, you're going to want to use some type of a resin paste. They work the best for things like creating cells, but you have to also know the type of paste you're using. Now this Lorez Angel White is a top seller, meaning you blow it over color and it sells. There are some that are bottom sellers, so you need to place them under the color for them to sell. And what you would have to do to find out that information is just ask the person you're buying it from which one it is. When using a heat gun, 
You don't want to concentrate on one area for too long. You can burn your resin. So heat up the, the entire project if you want to just by going over the entire area with the heat and then come back and start working on the sections that you want to work on. Now, in this case, I only had half of the canvas to worry about, so it was a little more simple. But I'm just blowing those colors around, and you will notice right away that you don't see any cells, but they develop over time. So I'm just adding a little bit of clear while I have you zoomed in here to look at these beautiful cells that have developed so far. And I'm using the clear to push back some of that color to expose more of the underneath where the alcohol inks were. But these cells are not like acrylic pouring cells. These cells actually look like holes that you can stick your finger down into. It's the, resin is just so fun to work with. So here is the finished piece. It is dazzling. It is so unique and there's so much depth to it. I mean, look at that. It looks like you can crawl under the ledge there and just go hide. I, I love it. And the chameleon pigments are just lighting up as if they're electric. The glitter is just the right amount and I'm very happy with the piece now. So if you are interested in this piece, it is a 12 by 16 and uh, it is available. You can email me artbytammy at yahoo.com. Here's a little section that I love. You can see the chameleon pigments right there. They're just so pretty, especially with the alcohol ink resin on top of them. Just to give you a couple of uh, ideas you know, that you can use them for. They're, they're very versatile. Again, all these colorants are available on artiststilldeath.com. Don't forget to use my discount, Tammy, to save 10% off your entire purchase. I love you all, and happy pouring. So as I said, if you want to see this in full, you know, regular time, the video is on my other channel. I do apologize. I did not keep all of the clips for this. Once I make a video for that channel, I delete them. But I did have a couple of them. So I'm just dripping alcohol inks on the canvas with some rubbing alcohol, 91%. I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to do the chameleon application the only issue is is i do not have that footage for you right now it's included in that other video these were just the the clips that i had left so after i did the chameleon application i let it dry and now this is where we are i put a top coat of resin on it and let it cure then the video starts where you just saw it me doing the resin work sorry about my crow and you know the glitter and all that so if you really want to try to do this project i suggest watching that first video and then coming back to this one again okay so i have that link for that video in the description of this one go ahead click on it try this out it's a really simple project it may not look like it to you, but it really is. All right. Have a great night, my friends.